Hi, I'm Peyton Dale and I am your friendly neighborhood wardrobe stylist. Welcome to The Peyton Project. On this show, I'm going to give you all of my tips and my tricks that I've learned over years and years of styling. I'm going to take you behind the scenes with me as I style people's music videos and photo shoots and for every day. And we're also going to be talking to a lot of my personal friends about what makes them tick when it comes to getting dressed in the morning. Hey guys, welcome back to The Peyton Project. Today we're gonna to be talking about something that all of us have dealt with at some point or another. Dressing room meltdowns. How many times have you gotten into a dressing room and you're sweaty or you're crying or all the above and you just hate yourself and you just buy whatever you can just to get out of there as quickly as possible? That's done on purpose. I'm gonna break this down into two different categories. One, the fast fashion world, and one, the high-end fashion world, because they both are designed to sell you things that you don't need or want, but in different ways. So let's start with the fast fashion. You walk in to a Forever 21, an H&M, or a Zara, and you walk in and there's so many options and you're overwhelmed before you even get in the door. They're playing club music, typically, that <laughs> and what that does, first of all, it's a Wednesday at 11. Who are they trying to kid? What that does is it kind of instills this sense of urgency in you. And in women, that tends to trigger our gathering scent. We're still cave people at heart. So we go, I'm just gonna grab everything I can and just see what works. So you have your arms full of stuff and you walk all the way to the back of the store because they want you to walk by every single thing and you try on these clothes. The dressing room is usually like this big and it's so dark and the club music seems louder in there. So you're already nervous, you're already starting to just get overwhelmed and anxious. Taking your clothes off is already difficult because you can't really move around. So you just put them on your body and if they kind of work, you go, ugh, oh, that's fine. Then you go, you walk all the way back out with your things that are meh, just fine, Not, it's never great. You walk all the way to the register and there's five registers and only one of them is open. And that is so you stay in line and you buy the face masks and the fuzzy socks and the eye patches and the tweezers and you buy all that stuff. And by the time you've walked out, you've spent double what you anticipated. Most of those stores make the majority of their money in the impulse section. It's crazy. So you get home, you pull out your $9 jeans and you look at them and you go, I can see through these. Or you put them on and you go, this is terrible. These don't fit and you go, oh, I'll just return them. No return policy, or it's three days. So if you work or if you have other stuff coming up, you can't actually return that stuff and you're kind of stuck with it. And that is how so many of us have gotten stuck with a closet full of crap that falls apart that we can't wear anymore. Let's go to the flip side. Let's go to a high-end Nordstrom, Bergdorf, Bloomies, Neiman's, all of these places. They are also designed to sell you stuff, which, yeah, we can't blame them, but the tactics are so different. So when you go into those stores, the lighting is usually beautiful, and they're playing one of two things, top 40 music or oldies. These are two things that have been known to keep people in the stores longer. The same way that when you pull into your driveway and your favorite song comes on the radio, you don't want to get out of your car. The longer you spend in the store, the longer you spend shopping. So if you're, if you're there with your friends and you're singing along and you, you're you there and you're like, oh, maybe this will work, maybe this will work. You're starting to gather these, these things, but you don't realize you're doing it because your brain is going, we're having this dance party over here, it's great. So you, get, you gather up your 10 items when you came in for two and you're ushered into this dressing room. And the dressing room is the size of my first apartment. It's immaculately lit, it's Oprah level lighting and the mirrors are tilted. So you look tall, you look lean, and those clothes look perfect. So you buy the pants that, you know, you were burned by those $9 jeans, let's buy the $300 jeans, they're not gonna hurt you. And you get home, and you pull them out of the bag, and you go, wait a minute. Now, while they're gonna be better quality than the first pair, they don't look as good on you when you get home, and you get into your natural light, your everyday lighting. and you end up with things that you didn't mean to purchase. Why, why did I buy this fuzzy yellow coat when I don't own anything that goes with it? 
and it's because you got wrapped up in the experience of the high-end store, so you bought the high-end things that you wouldn't typically purchase. Now, the return policies on those are usually easier, but you still have to go back to the mall and return them, which most people don't want to do these days. So what I like to do is I like to order my clothes online if I'm ordering something new. And what I do is I take my measurements every couple months and I keep them in a note section on my phone. And that way when I'm online and I have something in mind to order, I can narrow through everything that's on, on the website that I can look through. Let's say I need a black jacket. I need a black blazer so I know that's what I'm looking for. I can narrow down a couple brands I like and then I can look at the e-commerce photo and look at the measurements and go, that will more than likely fit me. And then I get the pieces sent directly to me and I try them on in my own home in a controlled setting. So it's my lighting that I see every day and it's my clothes that I'm pairing it with. Because a lot of times we get so wrapped up and this is cool and we don't think in the future, what is that going to look like with my clothing? I call them outfit recipes. It's kind of like going to the store and only buying cilantro when you have nothing else at home to pair it with. So I know I can pair that black jacket that comes to my door with these pants, these boots, that top, or I can get it here and go, you know what, this doesn't really go with anything that I thought it did, and send it back. And that's how I prevent those dressing room meltdowns from happening. When you go into the mall and you have an anxiety attack, it's not your fault. It's not something that you can control. It's something that has been studied and it's something that has been really just kind of drilled into people's heads that this is what retail is supposed to be. And if we go in there knowing that, it might make our shopping a little more easy and a little more enjoyable. I hope that helps.